Welcome to Premath. In this video tutorial, we are going to add and simplify these given rational terms that involve these radicals as you can see in this figure. So let's go ahead and get started now. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. I am going to rearrange these terms. I'm going to put these one together. So let me go ahead and rearrange them. I can write 1 divided by square root of x, then minus 1 plus 1 over square root of x, and then plus 1. And finally, I'm going to write down 1 over square root of x. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these first two fractions. And here I have copied them down and let's go ahead and add these two fractions. Let me show you an easy way to add these two fractions by crisscross method. Let's cross multiply this way and that way. So one times this is going to give us one times square root of x then plus 1 and let's put down this plus sign over here and once again 1 times square root of x minus 1 and everything is divided by these two denominators I can write them I can multiply these two denominators square root of x minus 1 times square root of x and then plus 1. Now let's go ahead and distribute these one that is going to give us square root of x and then plus 1 and plus likewise we are going to do this thing that's going to give us square root of x and then minus 1 divided by and here is in the denominator we see the product of the difference and the sum so therefore we are going to use this well-known formula the denominator could be written as a square root of x and then square minus one square now we can see at the numerator this positive one negative one is gone so we can simply combine these numerators this could be written as 2 times square root of x divided by this thing over here this square root and square they undo each other we simply got x and then minus 1 square is same as minus 1 so that means this whole thing has been simplified to 2 times square root of x divided by x minus 1 so I can write this one 2 times square root of x divided by x minus 1 and then I'm going to write down this part negative 1 over square root of x and now let's go ahead and simplify these two fractions by once again crisscross method so we can write this thing could be written as 2 times square root of x times this square root of x and then I am going to put down whatever this negative sign is going to be right here then I'm going to multiply this times this one so I can write 1 times x minus 1 and then divided by this denominator times this one so I can write this one square root of x times x minus 1 one. Now let's go ahead and simplify these fractions. If we multiply square root of x times square root of x, we know that square root of x times square root of x is simply x. So this could be written as 2 times x. And here we're going to distribute this one that is going to give us negative x and then negative and negative become positive 1 divided by this square root of x times x minus 1 and here in the numerator 2x minus x simply gives us x and then plus 1 divided by 
I can write x minus 1 times square root of x. And since we are running out of space on the left hand side, I have copied down this fraction right up here. And as we can see, we got this radical at the denominator. So we are going to rationalize this one by multiplying and dividing by this radical. So let's go ahead and multiply by square root of x and divide by square root of x as well. In the numerator we can multiply them out so this could be written as equal to square root of x times x plus 1 divided by the square root of x times square root of x is going to give us simply x and then times x minus 1. So we can see we no longer have a radical at the denominator. We can further simplify a little bit more. So we can write square root of x times x plus 1 divided by we can distribute this thing. So this could be written as x square minus x and that is our simplified answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye